school. Augustus, I, I was trying to get him out here for an interview. He used to dance in the ring. Um, he yeah, yeah, he got shot in the head. I heard. Yeah, he got shot in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had eye surgery. Yeah, I, I wanted to get him on a podcast. I was gonna fly him out. He was, he was, so, he was real good too. He was very underrated. They, yeah, they, they, they said, they said, uh, they said Floyd said that was his hardest fight. I don't know how. No, no, not but, not his hardest fight, but it was a, a tough one. Tough one. Okay, okay. I, his hardest fight was against Ricky Hat. What? Yeah. What did you Facts. say? Facts. What are you talking about? His hardest fight was against Ricky Hatton. He no, was it was him. not. Dude, d yes, it okay, was. Let me, let me get my laptop. I said, the fuck let me get my laptop, nigga. So I pull up the footage. Don't fucking play with me, nigga. Like I'm stupid. Hold on. You are, if you don't think it wasn't. That was the most competitive fight he ever been in. What? Ricky Hatton? <laughs> Ricky Hatton was on his ass, bro. What are you talking about, A.B.? What are you talking about? All right. A.B., Ricky Hatton? Yes. Y'all looking at the end of the fight. Y'all got to look at the whole fight, bro. Ricky Hatton was on his ass. Zab Judah yeah. gave him a hell of a three rounds. Uh, Shane Mosey gave him a hell of a two rounds. One round, two rounds. Um... Who else? Um, everybody else he schooled. My nigga, you said his hardest fight was Ricky Hatton, man. After that, it was Emmanuel Augustus. Y'all tripping. And then after Emmanuel Augustus, it, that's a that's a toss up with Chop Chop. Chop Chop fought him hard as hell. And then um, Cotto gave him a tough fight too. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me hold on, hold on. Let me just see something, okay? Because you're bugging. So his hardest fight was uh was was was. So in your opinion, was Ricky Hatton? Not even Maidana to you? No. Maidana, Maidana was tough, but I'm talking about like as far as him really having to fight, skill wise, and him really having to pull out his skills and fight. See, with, 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 with a Madonna type of guy, you, you got to do other things. It, it, it's more than just skills. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's the IQ and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because cause, cause he's so wild. I'm talking about skill for skill. Ricky Hatton. For sure. Emmanuel Augustus was tough. You know what he just... Look, look, look. Hold on. Hold on. Go look it up. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. Emmanuel Augustus. Ricky Hatton. Come on, nigga. He said nothing about no Ricky Hatton. Man, man, listen to me. Go ask him. Go ask him. Go ask him. Oh, you can't get close that close to him. You get <laughs> one of them big security guards will fuck you up, Flip. <laughs> why do hey. you think? Why you? Why you think my man Emmanuel Augustus didn't give give your man that work, my nigga? He said it already. He admitted it, bro. No, no, no. Emmanuel Augustus fought the fuck out of Floyd. Don't get me wrong, but he did. Emmanuel he Augustus fought. was what type of fighter was Emmanuel Augustus again? They call him a certain type of fighter that. Uh, a he drunken take, boxer. Uh, no, but that's his name. But the type of fighter that they call to, like a last minute type shit, man. Um, yeah, he was a um, a cab driver. It's a special word, yeah, something like that, yeah. But 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 but, but, but you know, respect him, nigga. 